Night Fever. Uh, it's not that Night Fever. It's the original Night Fever. It's the Night Fever we want. It's not the Night Fever we need. No, that's Batman. Um, <laughs> Night Fever by the Bee Gees. Obviously, it's from that album, Saturday Night Fever. Um, Saturday Night Fever. Hmm, I'm sensing a conspiracy. Okay, let's read a little bit from the Wikipedia page. Uh, I'm not going to hide that I'm reading from the Wikipedia page because I don't know anything about this. Night Fever is a song written and performed by the Bee Gees. Now, here's a contentious issue. Is it the Bee Gees or is it just Bee Gees? Which is it? I want to know. Uh, it first appeared on the soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever on RSO Records. Producer Robert Stigwood wanted to call the film Saturday Night, but singer Robin Gibb expressed hesitation at the title. Stigwood liked the title Night Fever, but was wary of the marketing uh, of marketing a movie with that name. The song bounded up the Billboard charts, while the Bee Gees' two previous hits from Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, How Deep Is Your Love and Staying Alive, which we've done, um, was still in the top 10. Their record debuted in the Billboard Hot 100 chart at 76, then leaped up 44 positions to... You know what? You can read that stuff. That's all number stat stuff. That's not interesting. We want to know that Barry Gibb, Robin Gibb, and Morris Gibb uh, wrote the song, and it was produced by the Bee Gees and Albie Galutin and Carl Richardson. That's what we want to know. Um, yeah, so thanks for learning <laughs> with this. Uh, go over, and if you're on YouTube, subscribe to that one. And otherwise, let's check out a 10-second title, and then we're going to go over to the mix window. Thank you. And it's just enough time for me to fix the lighting. <laughs> so here's one I've scarcely had a crack at, just really checking out what's going on with it. But we've got a 20-channel uh, session here. A lot of stereo um, instruments going on. Like dr The drums are just left and right, uh, a stereo pair. But they didn't seem to fall in line into a stereo track. The individual mono, that's fine. Bass guitar, wah guitar, keys, strings, high strings, percussion, piano, synth, Harmony vocals, lead vocals times four. Uh, I've pre-panned some of the things here just so you can get an idea of what's going on. Let's take a look at these drums in left and right. Stereo band. Right I go. Okay. Really subtle bit of reverb. Got a strange feeling it's going to be like this for the rest of the song. But interestingly enough, let's hear what's going on here because we're getting the whole drum kit as one. Would you hear that? That's called bleed, my friend. Is it though? Because. I swear I heard panning. Uh, yeah, maybe not. That's still, that's, that's some cool bleed. We can see... The bass drum down here at 100 hertz, and then the snare's happening at 200. You can see that peak up. Now, those toms were cool. They sounded a little bit like, um, like not distorted, but they're like, yeah, you listen up. It's like they're vibrating in a the, in the particular way that makes them kind of sound like that. Um, I'm going to crank that up. Yeah, that gives us a better idea. Okay, we, we, we're pretty solid on that. Drums is drums. Bass, I want to hear what it is. See if you can guess what kind of bass they use. Or better, you might know. That's really cool. It's fat and thick. That's, that's, you know how like we say things are buttery or creamy? That is toast with friggin' jam on it. That is like thick. Buttered toast with big, thick jam on it. Listen to that. You dream of a bass tone like that. Those m woody mid-tones. Take them away and you just got low end. Played with a pick, most likely. That's really good. Let's bring that down a little, huh? I don't know the words. 
Okay, I'll shut up. I'm sorry. That bass is, is giant, though. Wow. Oh! That's what I meant to do. Okay, there's some guitar in here as well. We obviously know that. Dry. A bit of reverb, maybe. A little wetter than I thought. That sounds like, I mean, if you're listening with headphones and you've got it quite cranked like I do, um, you can kind of hear a little bit in the background there of like perhaps another instrument in another room. That could be isolated in a separate area, but I can kind of hear a little bit of or something in there. Listen up. Kick drum at least. Super light bleed, like you would barely hear that. Uh, well, I can barely hear that. right there man if that ain't a Les Paul I'll eat my t- bread I don't know I'll eat something it's not gonna be Les Paul is it never right you can hear that feel like that's, uh, well, the very next section is an exact repeat of that. And then at the end, there's just that over and over again, over and over, until the very last bit where there's pretty dicking around, it looks like. There's drums just coming through the guitar channel. Yeah, no probs. Wah guitar, left and right, is panned for a reason. You'll find out very shortly. There's two takes, but they're called wah left and right, so we pan them left and right, right? Get ready for this. Come on. Oh, we're moving along too. (laughs) It's taking too long. Here we go. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And again, if you can find a song and it and it's not good enough to make you sing, then is it any good at all? Really? Come on. Right. I've got a feeling. We're going to hear a lot of that towards the end. we got that. So a wah pedal, guys, is like a pedal you put your foot on and it changes the frequency, the sweeping of the frequency, right? So, for example, if I were to take up the bass track, I can give you the concept of how a wah works, like you know, as if you were interested. But, hey, that's why it's got my name on the front, not yours. Ah, you're going to do what I say. Listen to this. So if I move that like this, check it out. Bad example. God damn You can barely hear it there. Oh, man, I'm really giving a horrible example. Let's go to this other guitar and see if I can make it happen on that. Um, the wah effect is the, basically the frequency being swept um, dramatically with a gain on it. So let's listen. See? What I'm doing there... I'm just raising the volume of a particular frequency, but it's sweeping through. That's creating the wah effect. And essentially, that's just done with a foot pedal um, that just on it, just put your foot on it and it goes like that. And that's, yeah, there you go. There's a wah. Anyway, there's your science lesson for the day. Keys, left and keys, right. I wonder what kind of keys they are. 
Oh, by the way, mm, mm, let's hear that. I love hearing those little bits at the start. That you're not supposed to hear, so let's hear it. Is it just the one, two, three, four? Okay. Oh, the keys have got a little... I love that. So got that harpsy sound. Yeah. Okay, we're switching through. We've got some gorgeous sounds though. Was that like a 73 or something? 78? When did this come out? It wouldn't have been 78. What's that? That piano, that Rhodes or whatever, that electric thing? Man, that's so good. piano wow super compressed piano too that's really interesting it just you can hear the, the front of it's just kind of sucked back it's immediately immediately as it goes to go in with it with a like a really loud um attack it just gets, gets sucked straight back let's hear it here it comes right now super compressed you can hear the release on that note very cool Singing? Yeah. Night fever, night fever. Uh, 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 uh. That's right, baby. Yeah. Back to that harp scene. Yes. <laughs> nice touch. Great. I'm just going to listen to this all night. I could just listen. I love electric piano sounds. Love Rhodes. Love Wurlitzers. Love them. Okay, and then we move up. Is this that piano sound again? No, we're at the end. All right, we're all EP here. And then what's this at the end? Oh, I can see a little spot here. What's that? What is it? Nothing. Okay. Click. <laughs> Someone exasperated with the process of recording, perhaps? Um, all right. Keys left and right. Done. Strings left and right. Going to be a good time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Feel that night fever, everybody, or else. Okay, bring it in. My God, that's great. That's so cool. I like that you can hear the headphones happening. Well, Bowed instruments fascinate me.
Wow. Going to move on a little bit. Just at one suspenseful note throughout. That's so cool. This is a high strings part. Now I can hear a little bit of something going on with the high strings track quite right at the end. People talking, right? Let's hear it. See what you can get out of this. See your flies undone? He's not, he's not saying that. <laughs> but there, there's a high string part there as well, which I, I feel like is going to be that. Another. I mean, yeah, forgive me for not going over that, right? But yeah, we can see what's going on there. Uh, now, a percussion track. Ah, oh, do triangle. Love it. I challenge you to play triangle that good. Just a little louder towards the end, let's see. Great, and then there's a little hit here. <laughs> the mic's just kind of on, isn't it? But that's what you had to do with tape, man. You left it on, you did the take. You couldn't just skip to it. Okay, this triangle, uh, how enthralling is your, your night when you're just sitting around listening to the triangle the whole time? What's at the end here? Some more bleed through from that click track, right? We'll get rid of that. We'll go over to this piano hit and shaker, which looks like two piano hits and a bit of shaker. So let's hear some of that, here's some of that background noise that's just sitting there. I'm going to miss one because I'm talking crap. Okay, next bit. So is this bleed, do you think, or is this like something else? Maybe this was recorded on the spot with the orchestra. Pretty aggressive piano hit. I mean, that one, the next one coming up looks even more aggressive. Okay, we can hear what's going on. Let's hit that. Here we go. Big hit. And just cuts off. Let's go back to the other one. It drags on a little longer. This one here cuts. See you later. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Uh, something going on. Bleed. Okay. And then we got this shaker part. Sounds like a kibasa. That sounds more like a kibasa than a. I have, man, I'm not going to get it out, but I got a kibasa and it's essentially, well, the modern version of it is, um, do you guys have Milo where you are? Or like a, t you know, like quick, like um, uh, a powdered chocolate, let's say, in a tin, right? It has those beads, like like when you go to the bank and there's a pen on the bench and those beads hold it, those metal beads, it's like that, but bigger. And they're wrapped around this tin, which is on a stick and you go, <laughs> you turn the handle and hold the beads. And that's what this sounds like. <laughs> You'd be literally turning it. That's what that sounds like. It sounds like a kibasa more than a shaker. Traditionally, it was made out of like a gourd uh, and uh, have some uh, beads wrapped around it and you would be able to shake it and then do all those other things with it and perhaps filled with some more... Okay, okay, we get that. Synth strings, I'm all about it. Okay, that was nothing. Selena. Selena string ensemble, if it's not. Where's Nick when you need him? Nick had one of these. <laughs> Excellent. It's got to be Selena's string ensemble.
Okay, we'll move through that. Gorgeous. Yeah, totally is. Let's have a look. I mean, we haven't looked at the EQ for a little while. When there's something interesting going on. Really buzzy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well that's that's fine. We're, we're happy to not worry about that for the moment. Now, here comes some vocals, and you know what that means. That means it's time to go over to the YouTube channel and subscribe. Uh, so click on the buttons that have been popping up throughout the video if you want to check out um, some of the other videos that are on this channel, 65 and, and counting. Um, plenty of songs from plenty of people. If you like groove and funk stuff, there's some uh, there's some Sheik in there. There's some Barry White. Some Isaac Hayes coming. Which is really good. If you like the um, the pop princesses of the 90s and 2000s, we have those two. Uh, TLC, Beyonce, uh, Christina, Britney, Mariah. And I'm doing my best to get some of the others, but uh, it's a challenge. Um, not a whole lot of rock you will have noticed. Yes, well, that's because thanks to bloody rock band and guitar hero, they're really hard to come across the sessions that aren't ripped from those games. So I'm trying to find original actual sessions from those artists, but they're um, a little bit thin. Um you know, out there in the world. But otherwise, thank you all. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking out this Bee Gees track. Um, and let's not forget about poor Mo. okay? We all talk about Barry Gibb all the time and Robin Gibb, but what about Mo? okay? What about Morris? Uh, you know, if you're a commenter who really loves Morris Gibb, I know you are, Susan, uh, then uh, enjoy the Mo. <laughs> Movember. We should change Movember to Morris Gibb Vember. <laughs> anyway, back over to the mix window. We're listening to uh, Harmony Vocals. Left and right, um, for Night Fever, let's do it. Hey, hey, hey. Don't get too ahead of yourself, all right? Epinephrine. And that sweet city wall, uh -huh. she moved through the light, <laughs> controlling my mind and my soul. Is that it? Oh, come on, we want more. Do the night fever, the night fever. We know how to do it. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that night fever, night fever. We know how to show it. <laughs> and then. Here I am. Praying for the moment to shine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Next, next bit. Making it mad. That's so good. Yeah. We know how to show it. Oh, that's so good. All right, and then there's a little bit of versage, and then we've got some more backup vocals. And my sweet city woman, she moved through the light, controlling my mind and my soul. When you reach out for me, the feeling is right. Night fever, night fever. We know how to do it. Yes, we do. Give me that night fever, night fever. We know how to show it. Still a pretty crispy recording. Um, and, I, and I do like them when they're crispy. Uh, <laughs> you ever had a crispy cream? We talked about that once before. Um, that's... I mean, I've got it in stereo. It's a comp. It's, it's been, you know, mixed down, so we've got ether, everything going on either side. But listen. Make it in my mind. Night fever, night fever. We know how to do it. How to do it. Ooh. Give me that night fever, night fever. We know how to show it. Show it. <laughs> Give me that night they love doing the monkey sounds, man. Fever. Yeah. We know how to do it. Do it. Do it. Hey, by the way, go and practice singing to BGs and realize how actually hard it is. Um, you know, I, I've always known people to take the piss out of BGs for singing high or whatever. You, you give it a shot. You tell me how good you are at singing that high. What you doing in your bed? Different song. We know how to show it. Mm -hmm. Show it. Yes, give me that. Show it. Show it. Mm. Out. Mm. We know how to do it. Yes, we do, baby. Give me that night, fever, night, fever. 
We know how to show it. Show. We know how to show it. No. We know how to show it. Feel the night. Feel the night. We know how to do it. Ah, uh, I love that. Just some junk at the end that's just been sitting there that they've uh, that they've they've tacked on or whatever, or they ran out of tape because it's a fade out at the end and they never actually hear that, right? Uh, and then there are like, all right, let's check this out. There are four lead vocals here, so we'll just pump through those bit by bit. And that sweet city woman, she moved through the light. Yeah. Controlling my mind and myself. Okay. And then I dare say the next vocal. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this is not, come and slow down. I can stay. In, I, I can feel okay staying on one vocal. I'm not rushing anything. Here I am. Praying for this moment to last. Yes, I love that sound, man. It's literally the noise you do when you're a kid and you're doing a monkey sound. I love it. It's so good. Here I am. Praying for this moment to last. Living on the music so fast, born on the wind, making it mine. Oh, he's got some some funky uh, pressure building in there. It's like someone's standing behind him and they're squeezing him, and they're going. <laughs> You came for the monkey sounds, didn't you? My sweet city woman, she moved to the night, controlling my mind and my soul. Oh man, I wish I could sing. Like forever, baby, don't oh, oh, this higher. Feel like forever, baby, don't you lose that. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. Here I am. Okay. Praying for this moment to last. Living on the music so fine, born on the wind, making it mine. Is it the same bit? No, it's not. He's doing it a second time. However, lead vocal two looks almost exactly the same. Look at the, like, I mean, I'll just zoom in on some of these transients here. They look suspiciously the same. They couldn't be. Let's put them together. Making it I think Barry Gibbs is very good at singing. They aren't the same take. He's just go he's he's just done it perfectly. Listen to this. Making it That's two separate takes, man. Shit, that's good. Barry. Living on the music so fine, born on the wind, making it bad. If you've got headphones on, you can hear it in the different ears and you can tell that it's not the exact same take. Um, but he's done it that well. But listen to this. Now I put them into the center of the speaker. You'll hear them phase a little. Because he's that close. He's that good. I've only ever encountered this maybe once uh, with a real person in a studio. And, and it wasn't even someone I was recording. It was just a session that I listened to. A local guy named Bowden Dower from a band called Sender who could just deliver a take, sample perfect, the next time to the point where you would think you've copied the take. And he was that, that good, that close on it. And this is, I mean, this is Barry Gibbs. This is different. This is Bee Gees, different style, all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, that's pretty damn impressive. Sing it to me. I leave you never, baby, don't you know? I believe them pan too, huh? Feel like forever, baby, don't you know? Yeah, baby. Okay, what else we got? <laughs> I leave you never, baby, don't you What's know? This last bit here. I want to hear this tiny bit. One ear. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Now, someone's going to be like, that wasn't Barry, that was Robin. And I don't know who it is, but I'm happy with it. <laughs> okay. Lead vocal three, left and right. All right. This is this is it. Listen to the ground. There is movement all around. There is something going down. And I can feel it. Yeah. On the waves of the air. There is dancing out there. If there's something, we can't share. 
it. I'm down with it. Let's hear it all. Let's go. Vocals. Oh! Oh! Yes, it does. Sing it to me. Night fever, night fever. We know how to do it. Ow! Feel the night fever, night fever. We know how to show it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, there's a little bit more to go. Let's get rid of all the other vocals, move into the next section before I get too excited. Hang on, does that move in perfectly with that last note on the lead vocal? He just blended his own... They just... Listen to this. He, he finishes up a note on the last one and carries it in with the next one. I'm going to pan them all left and then all right. Are <laughs> you all all left? No, you are all all right. Listen to the lead vocals to the left. Move over to the right. Good work, boys. That was sick. I'm happy with that. Especially Mo. Morris, especially Morris Gibb. I'm especially proud of him. Anybody who's missing the gag there, uh, someone in the comments of the last BGS video was like, don't forget about Morris Gibb, okay? Morris Gibb's really good. And I agree. And I'm just giving him a little extra love this time around, okay? Uh, thanks thanks for the Morris uh, love because, I mean, he's a BG, isn't he? We know how to do it. Ooh, ooh. ooh double oohs. Ooh, ooh. Now, that's a, that's a, that's a gibbon, of, I believe, if they're doing monkey sounds. This is the gibbon sound. Okay, go and just type in a YouTube when you finish here. Monkey spin, okay, and um, get rid of the Y. M O N K E spin, and it's just this monkey that goes whoop and it just shoots off into the air and never comes back. That's what he sounds like. Yeah. How can you not like this stuff? I mean, if you, anybody says they don't like BGS, they're lying. The or the well, they're trying to be cool. No yeah. Give me just enough. I'll take us to the morning. That's how you can tell the two different takes. He moves a note here, right? Listen. I'll take us to the morning. I got fire in my mind. I get higher in my walking. And I'm glowing in the dark. Hang on, what does he say? Does that say I get higher in Milwaukee? Let's let's I'm gonna bring the lyrics up for this as well, actually. Let's go and find that. Um okay, how far into the song is it? I get higher in my walking. Uh I get higher in my walking. Okay, I got fire in my mind. I get higher in my walking. In the heat of all of don't need no help for us to make it. Don't need no help for us to make it. Give me just enough. Take us to the morning. I got fire in my mind. I get higher in my walking. And I'm glowing in the dark. Give me warning. And my sweet city woman, she moves through the light. I'm reading this, by the way. Controlling my mind and my soul. When you reach out for me, and the feeling is right. Night fever, night fever, we know how to do it. Monkey sound. Feel like forever, baby, don't yeah. you do it. Night fever, night fever, yeah. we know how to show it. Monkey sound. Yeah, another one. Here I am. Oh, come on. <laughs> Praying for this moment to last. Yeah. Living on the music so fine, born on the wind, making it mine. Yes! Another one! Making it mine! Night fever, night fever, we know how to do it. Yeah. Feel like forever, baby, don't you do it. We know how to show it. Give it a night fever, night fever. We know how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a treat, everybody. Let's hear it. Let's bring it in from the from the drums, huh? Because I mean, this ain't mixed uh, by any means.
that's it. Give me that guitar, baby. Definitely getting shut down for that. All right, that has got to be it for that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Night Fever by the Bee Gees from the Saturday Night Fever album, uh, starring John Travolta and Fran Drescher. I'm pretty sure the nanny's in that damn movie. Uh, great, great, great film. What a piece of cinema history. Um, what a piece of disco history. Did you know discotheque is like a bibliotheque where they kept all the Bibles, they kept all the books. The discotheque is where they give all the discs. Uh, and then you would go there to listen to the discs and they would dance together in a courting ritual um i don't know why jason statham is italian all of a sudden but uh thank you all very much for watching this um and for subscribing and for dropping your comments in there uh have you met a bg have you seen the bgs uh that weren't a hologram no, that was abba um you know what else do you know about this album uh i want to hear about it the guys are um from australia they say they're from australia are they from australia because no one's really from australia australia doesn't even exist i'm just a hologram um tell me about Everything you know about the Bee Gees, man, because they were around. They did it. They 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 took over the world, and you know we let them because we loved it. So yeah. Anyway, uh, subscribe to me because I'm on YouTube. Um, thanks. We'll catch you all later. Don't forget to finish your glass of water after you've um, had a chat with your mates, and then you can uh, GFY. Until then, see you next time. Mm-hmm.